Hey there people, have you ever seen the ends of a cylinder in 3ds Max? It's a very bad topology, it's n-gon, and an n-gon is a face with more than 4 edges, and it has multiple faces as you can see. Now if you apply a modifier like Turbo Smooth or Open Subtip to it, it's not gonna produce very good results like this. It's deformed in a very weird way, we don't want that. So today I'll tell you how you can optimize it. So let's just convert it into editable poly and we'll select the faces that we need to uh, optimize. So the top face here and we'll do the same thing with the back face but I'll just show you one. Then we'll go to inset and then click and drag like this. Then we'll delete it by pressing delete on your keyboard. It's deleted. Then we'll select one of the edge go to loop it's looped and then deselect the opposing two faces sorry opposing two edges and it's you can see it's deselected now I will go to bridge and it's bridged and uh, that's all you need to do if you are feeling extra um, well you want to go to the extra length of doing something like this you can just go to cut click on this you see uh, when I point the cursor on a vertex its icon changes so just click and uh, release the mouse button and then click again on this vertex right click to deselect the cutting the edges and then click on this vertex again point to this vertex click again and then right click and then right click again to deselect the, the tool here and uh, that's all you need to do now we'll go to turbo smooth it's done. Well, that uh, last step was very unnecessary. I mean, it will still produce very good results even without those two. Like I'll show you here if we still have turbo smooth. Uh, it's it's a bit weird looking edge here, but it's still a very good, very good looking smooth model. So you know, doesn't really matter. Why add the extra edges if you don't need it? Uh, share this video, uh, like and subscribe if that helps.